today everyone today we're making quarantine s'mores the ingredients that you'll need for the marshmallow is one cup of cold water divided in half three tablespoons of gelatin of your choice and one and a half cups of granulated white sugar for the coating of the marshmallow you'll need half a cup of cornstarch and half a cup of confectioner or powdered sugar. Now to make the s'mores you'll need any chocolate that you have on hand. Today we have this and of course the graham crackers. So without a further ado, let's get started. You're gonna start off by incorporating your confectioner sugar and cornstarch into a mixing bowl and set it off to the side. Now to make the marshmallow itself, start off by adding half of your water into your mixing bowl, then sprinkle the jello powder on top of it and let your jello essentially bloom. Now keep in mind, we're using whatever jello we have laying around, which was strawberry in this case, but you can use whatever jello you have laying around at your house. Maybe it's, you know, unflavored, maybe it's not, maybe it's lime berry blue it can be any flavor you want we're in quarantine guys they'll go out to buy some jello to make some marshmallows so while our jello is blooming for about 15 to 20 minutes you're going to get on started with the sugar syrup for that add your sugar into your pot cover it with water and heat it very slowly till it reaches 240 degrees Fahrenheit or when you take a little bit of the mixture drop it into a cup of cold water and when you take out the little blob it's squishy it's moldable it's kind of malleable and you it can flatten like a pancake it's not like super crisp or brittle nor is it super soft that it dissolves into the water that's when you know for me it took about 15 minutes on medium heat not even i was too afraid of burning it so i kept at a low heat once your sugar comes up to 240 degrees fahrenheit now you need to work fast turn off your heat immediately put your beaters on low speed and start whipping the jello sugar mixture as you drizzle the hot sugar down the side of the bowl not exactly touching the side of the bowl you can see be careful, make sure the sugar syrup does not touch the beaters or else you'll end up with a really, really, really bad bird. And that's the last thing you want during quarantine. So now you're going to continue whipping your sugar jello mixture until it has doubled in size and lightened in color. In this case, it's going to turn light pink, but if you use different flavors of jello, then it can turn light green, light blue, white, it just depends. Now you can check it every once in a while, but you'll know when the side of the bowl is cold to the touch and the mixture is very thick, it's opaque, it's doubled in size, and it holds its shape. Gradually increase the speed of your mixer as time goes on, ours took about 11 minutes of whipping, mixing, and yeah, it was a good arm workout. You know, a great way to burn a lot of calories right before you eat a ton of sugar. So while you're whipping your little mixture, you can prep this ahead of time, or you can interchange between with your mom, someone who's there with you. Um, you're going to grease and line a baking sheet with some aluminum foil so that once your marshmallow mixture is ready, you can pour it in, sprinkle the top with some cornstarch and powdered sugar, and you can let it set off to the side for 24 hours, literally. Just a quick little disclaimer out there, these are not going to be like your traditional marshmallows in the sense that it's not going to have the super malleable, springy, soft texture of a traditional commercially made marshmallow. Rather, it's going to be a bit more on the delicate side. It's going to have a light and springy texture. It's not going to be as malleable because we're not using unflavored Knox gelatin, which is a stronger form of gelatin. Neither are we using corn syrup 
which provides the stability in commercially made marshmallows but keep in mind that we're using ingredients we had from our pantry as a matter of fact we had vegan gelatin and that's what we're using in this recipe but keep in mind we're making s'mores we're not making snacking marshmallows so in s'mores it is a little bit more of a wiggle room so you can have a much softer marshmallow and get away with making s'mores but if you were looking forward to making snacking marshmallows i will leave my recipe down in the description box below and follow the exact same steps as this recipe with the substitutions so once your marshmallow has cooled and doubled in size you're going to work quickly pour it into your four inch pan on hindsight go with a four inch not an eight inch or else your marshmallows would be way too thin go with a four inch hindsight so work quickly spread your marshmallow mixture out onto your baking pan and then you're going to dust the top with a touch of powdered sugar and cornstarch and then you're going to let it sit off to the side on a countertop obviously covered for 24 hours i know it's a long time but we are using vegan gelatin and we need it to you know rest for a really long time make sure it is completely set before we do anything to it because if you don't let it sit for 24 hours then this happens the marshmallow decides to stick everywhere and then you have an entire breakdown trying to get the marshmallow to unstick and you end up losing 25% of the top layer but whatever at least we recover 75% of it which is all that matters so you're going to cut your marshmallow with a greased knife you're going to grease it in between each cut because this is super sticky it is a marshmallow after all it is not as malleable as a commercially made one but it is still pretty much identical to a real life marshmallow it is super gooey super sticky so you have to grease your knife in between cuts and once your little marshmallows are cut you will roll them around in your powdered sugar and cornstarch mix so that the sides aren't sticky but if you do listen to my tip and let it set for 24 hours you wouldn't have to pay, face this problem but thank god we're making s'mores and you know the top doesn't really matter it's the sides and the taste the taste is on point it is slightly strawberry flavored and it is like a real life marshmallow so continue cutting your marshmallows we got a total of 16 about one inch pieces and then we can get on started with making the s'mores to make the s'mores put a piece of graham cracker and a piece of chocolate on top and then you're going to take your marshmallow toast it over an open flame make sure you have parent supervision while doing that you don't want to burn yourself then you're going to put your toasted marshmallow on your chocolate to melt it and you're going to top it off with your other piece of graham cracker and there is your s'mores so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a huge thumbs up also don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button right next to the subscribe button so you get notified every single time i upload that's it for this week i will see y'all next week bono de goodbye